Garnet is an unusual choice for determining the age of volcanic ejecta. Researchers typically use zircon, which is a small accessory mineral found in many igneous rocks. Magma from Vesuvius, however, is too alkaline to crystallize zircon but is rich in garnets. To determine the age of garnets, the researchers used the radioactive elements uranium and thorium. The crystal structure of garnet combines both in small but measurable amounts with a preference for uranium. Using the isotope ratio of uranium-238 to thorium-230, the researchers were able to calculate the mineral's crystallization age. All garnets for this study were derived from material collected by researchers at ETH Zurich on site with the help of colleagues from the University of Milan and the University of Bari. To this end, they searched for suitable locations where volcanic deposits from the four aforementioned eruptions were exposed on the surface and accessible for sampling. Using the age of garnet's crystallization, the researchers were now able to show that the most explosive type of magma at Vesuvius, called phonolytic magma, was deposited in reservoirs in the upper crust for several thousand years before an influx of more primitive and hotter magma from the lower crust triggered eruptions. For two prehistoric events, the researchers determined that the phonolytic magma stayed indoors for about 5,000 years. Prior to its historical eruption, this reservoir was stored for only about 1,000 years. For all eruptions, the residence time of phonolytic magma in the upper crustal space coincides with the Vesuvius quiescence period. We think it's very likely that phonolytic magma in the upper crust is blocking the emergence of hotter, more primitive magma from deeper reservoirs, said Olivier Bachmann, professor at ETH Zurich. Vesuvius has a fairly complex piping system, he adds with a grin. Underneath the volcano there are several magma chambers connected by a system of pipes. The upper chamber, which is critical for eruptions, fills with magma from one of the lower chambers in a fairly short time. In this colder environment, magma cools and crystallizes, causing chemical changes of the rest of the melt, a process called magmatic differentiation. Experts call magma different from the Vesuvius phonolite.